Deus in adiutorium meum intende. Domine, ad adiuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Eterna Christi munera, apostolorum gloria, palmas et hymnos debitos, Letis canamus mensibus, Ecclesiarum principes, Belli triumphales duces, Celestis aule milites, Et vera mundi illumina. Devota sanctorum fides. Invicta spes credensium. Perfecta Christi caritas. Mundi tyrannum conterit. In his paterna gloria, in his voluntas spiritus, exultat in his filius, celum replenum. Tur gaudio, patris imunque filio, tibique sancte spiritus, sicut fuit sit iugiter. Seclum per omne gloria. Amen. Philip, whoever sees me, sees my Father also. Alleluia. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill, before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Philip, whoever sees me, sees my Father also. Alleluia.
If you had known me, you would have known my father also. Now you both know him and see him. Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Now you both know him and see him. Alleluia. If you love me, says the Lord, keep my commandments. Alleluia. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on the earth. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. If you love me, says the Lord, keep my commandments. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son and form that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Make known his wonders to every people. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Glory 
to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. If you live in me and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children, forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. If you live in me, and my words live in you, all you ask for will be yours. Alleluia. My brothers, we build on the foundation of the apostles. Let us pray to our Almighty Father for his holy people and say, Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Father, you wanted your Son to be seen first by the apostles after the resurrection from the dead. We ask you to make us his witnesses to the farthest corners of the world. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to preach the good news to the poor. Help us to preach this gospel to every creature. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to sow the seed of unending life. Grant that we who work at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile all men to you through his blood. Help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Your Son sits at your right hand in heaven. Let the dead enter your kingdom of joy. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, every year you give us joy on the festival of the apostles Philip and James. By the help of their prayers, May we share in the suffering, death, and resurrection of your only Son, and come to the eternal vision of your glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all the evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Regina Celi Alleluia. Quia, when is the port
Stay.